Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome to today's walkabout. Uh, if you saw the video I did where I walked from uh, Trebusit Road down to Kolpai, uh, I'm just going to carry on from there. I'm going to walk back to the Basel Land January, so I thought while I walk, why don't I make the video and show you what's up here around this area and uh, anything that's changed, etc, etc. So uh, that's what we're going to do today. Uh, to give you your bearings, um, if you look up there, that is South Patea Road that takes you up to, to uh, Sukhavit and we are going to walk down there and uh, we're going to head all the way down to Third Road, that's where we're going to end up and if you follow down there, that will take you down to uh, Third Road but we're going to walk this way down to Third Road so let's just get across the road here and uh, nip across go on mate, go on mate, go on, go on, go on uh, okay, so today's video is going to be about me stood still not being able to get past the traffic right, come on, let's get out Pass this car, thank you very much. He's gonna turn, you are turning. Alright, so go on, boss, go on, go on. Okay, cool, we're off. Um, so this road leads us all the way down to Third Road, and there's all your different uh, snacks, your chicken. Hello, fella. Okay, he's just chilling down there, mate. You relax yourself, take it easy, buddy. And I often come this way when I'm coming down to the lounge from my uh, condo and uh, from about six, seven o'clock in the morning, believe it or not, the place is banging. Uh, up here, you'll see it in a minute. There's a really nice Mukhtar restaurant, very, very popular. There's a couple of bars and clubs here, but this is mainly frequented by the Thai people, normally when they finish work. And uh, it's busy, stays busy till about 10, 11 o'clock which uh, we're past that now, so uh, I'd imagine that they've all gone home sleeping. Uh, there's a nice restaurant over there. Again, that one's big. Look, look at the back end. If you look down the back there, you'll see that's one of the clubs I mentioned. That's normally quite busy. And just up here, this place up here we're gonna walk to in a minute, it's very, very popular. I come down here and they're dancing and singing and jumping around, having a right laugh. But they live in a completely different world to us because obviously, well to me anyway, you know, when they're, they're now sleeping, I'm doing my thing. And, uh, you know, when I'm sleeping, they're working, bless them. Fair play. But I must admit, I'm not a night owl. I used to be years ago. You know, when I first came out here, yeah, when I was doing my photography, you know, I was out till two, three in the morning, going around all the go-go's doing my photos for them. It was uh, a completely different way of life. Whereas now, I'm uh, much more of a wake up early and uh, finish early. Oh, I don't know, look, they're still in there, fair play. You can see over there now, that's, uh, this is what I was on about. This is a Mukhtar restaurant. They have a huge screen at the back there, that white screen, that's a TV screen. And uh, always busy in there, always busy. So you think now we're at lunchtime and uh, already there's a lot of people in there. And this one here on the right hand side, this is the, uh, the cabaret pub and karaoke in there. Again, very busy, very popular. Uh, that's closed right now, they've obviously wrapped up for the day. And up here, on the left hand side, is another uh, place where they party. But, so they've closed the gate now. However, however, because I'm using this 360, I can now use this and do this, look, there you go. What am I doing? I'm saying hello to you. <laughs> I think she's drunk, bless her. Alright, let's go back across the road. But yeah, so now I've got the extension, I'll just pop it over and show you. Bless her. What do you do? I'm saying hello to you. Right. Uh, what have we got there? Kitsa Thai Massage Sapaya School. Well, they're, they're not open, none of them. Well, I guess uh, maybe they're not uh, in business any longer. People ask me about learning Thai. And uh, all I'll say is, guys, do one on one. Don't do classes. Do one on one. Far more beneficial and much more productive. You'll learn much more quickly. In there, that's a nice little area, but they're very small, those houses. I think they're quite small. But it's a tiny area, tiny area. 
over there, JK Apartments. They look like they've seen better days. And uh, let's have a walk down here. This land area is for sale. Again, another apartments there. But uh, I'm not sure that uh, you'd want to stay there for your holiday. The area here, there's, when we get a bit further up, there's uh, some gents clubs and stuff. And uh, I'll show you around the corner where there's uh, a load of gents clubs. So it's a good, good area in terms of that side of things. Also, we're going to uh, go past Mario's place in a bit, just up here. Oh, it's Reuben Sandwich. Man, it is off the radar good. But I think he's expanding, I think. Here we go, yeah, look. Restaurant Forenza. Well, that's Mario. So, so hang on, does he take... No, surely not. Has he changed? I'll have to ask him. Butchery and grilled homemade pasta. Oh. All right, I need to contact him and find out what he's doing there. Because uh, that used to be a deli. And I've been in there many times. Me and he used to go and have breakfast in there. Really nice food. Very, very good quality. But it's Reuben sandwich. Oh, man, that, if you're into that kind of stuff, it's off the radar. It really is. Okay. So just around the corner here. Uh, around the corner, we've got uh, a couple of gents clubs. What I'm uh, struggling with, I've got to be honest with you, what's it, six? See, we've only had six minutes and I've nearly bought the whole soy. This, uh, this fatty to fee doesn't have to give me the opportunity to cover a lot more ground. And I'm not out of breath, not even the slightest bit. Uh, the coffee shop here. Dose yield time. Right, fair play. Uh, here's Fever, expat food and beverages. There's a lot of these shops. There's a lot more of these around now. So when you do come over, particularly if you're on a long stay, uh, you know, you want some uh, home, home produce and stuff, then uh, get yourself in these places, they're good. It's Happy Corner. And just up here, Malibu and Babylon. I'm not sure, uh, so don't hold me to this, but I've got, a, well, I've been told that Babylon's up for sale. So I don't know if Tony has actually put it up for sale, I don't know. Uh, but there you've got Malibu and Babylon two popular places but like I said I've been told that it's up for sale I honestly don't know there is Nadia's kitchen there good food in there but uh, yeah I've been told that uh, Babylon is up for sale so I don't know I don't know how true that is I might be talking complete rubbish but it's a nice place whether it's up for sale or not it's a nice place in there quite a few girls and uh, it's a double unit Babylon now a place that uh, I have heard people talk about a lot here, the Urban on the right hand side there, the Urban Attitude. And uh, I wonder if they've got any rooms, let's have a look what, look at what they've got here. Uh, one bedroom, one bar. Oh wow. Two bedroom, uh, what's that one, that's a 32 square meter, sixth floor, 16,000 bar. Uh, 39 square meter, uh, 15,000 by one bedroom, 44 square meter, that's big. Uh, city view, 7th floor, 20,000. Ball access, uh, 35 square meter, ball access. Oh, wow. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I think it's got uh, no one in reception right now. Uh, what I'll do is uh, I'm going to come back and look at that, see what they're about, see if we can get to, uh, bring that to you. And all of them are offering a much bigger discount if you pay for the year up front. And I've got to say, the location for me is spot on. And I am looking at moving, so uh, I don't know, watch this space. And around, you see this one on the corner, it's called Cannibalize. And uh, I need to get across over. That's called Cannibalize. That's only just been open. I've not seen anyone in there. Right, let's get across the road. I'm not sure what that one is. 
uh, Supper, oh, I can't read that, Sup, Supam Jita Villa, something like that. I'm not sure, no idea. And uh, yeah, like I was saying, if you turn right here, if you used to head down this, uh, this turning on the right, we're going to walk past it in a second. If you go down there, then uh, you've got a soy full of gents clubs. There's, there's about uh, 10, I think 10 or 12 gents clubs down there. Down there, there. And uh, if you head up there, turn right where that truck is, where well, he's just turned himself, and turn right there, they're uh, just up there. So you can spend a good few hours there, enjoy yourself, and uh, then head back. Literally, we are just a, a short walk away from the Buzzing Lounge. So, uh, well, let's, let's uh, walk back to there. And what I'll do is, uh, if we have got time, I'll just talk to you about some of the changes I want to make. I am going to be making some changes very soon. Well, not soon because our build is very busy, but uh, I am going to make some changes. I want to do that. Okay, and around the corner here, uh, if you're looking for a massage, uh, there's about uh, seven or eight. About seven or eight massage shops just around here on the corner. I'll show you those in a minute. You'll see them. Okay. Do -do -do. I'm impressed by the cost of those uh, condos. 15,000 baht for a 44 square meter. That's, that's decent, blimey. me. And they got a swimming pool. Right. Up there, some more apartments. You know, I'm sure if I actually spent some time and actually wandered around and actually had a decent look about, I'm sure I could find some really good places. But uh, for today, I'm just walking about. Here's all the massage shops I was talking to you about just here. And uh, I go in that one there sometimes uh, for a decent foot massage because they got lovely chairs in there. Uh, as far as the other side of things are concerned, I honestly don't know. I haven't, in, uh, haven't uh, experienced that, so I don't know. But if you want that kind of a massage, well, realistically, you're better off going down uh, Soy 13 to around that area, or some of the uh, areas in Soy Bacal, and uh, fill your boots, as they say. I'm only walking up here because I can't see around the corner, and there you go. I don't want to get, uh, I don't want to get run over. Okay, let's go across the road here. Oh, high roller billiards. Wow. I wonder if this is the shop. I wonder if this is the new, uh, the new shop that they're on about. Let's go nip across that look. Not sure what's there. Yeah. Right, yeah, it's a shop. We've got a lot of pool tables and that in there. All right, so uh, over there, that's uh, so exciting. Uh, very colourful of an evening. The LED screens are all lit up and everything. It's really nice. I, you know, there's not much in there for me to be honest with you. Um, but needless to say, it's uh, it's a new area, and it's an area that I think is aimed at coach tours. I want to get across the road here. And uh, just up here on the left hand side is a club in full action with full swing. Uh, right, here we go. Come on boss, you go past me. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, so uh, over there on the left hand side, uh, that's a, a club that's in full swing over there. And the, uh, the audio is louder than you can imagine. But anyway, that's, uh, that's the other thing I don't get is like when you go to these places, if you can't hear yourself think, you know, surely it's a uh, club. It's just not for me. But over there, there you go. And uh, number four, that's a popular place, but that closes earlier, that shuts at six in the morning. I often see all the guys and girls coming out of there. A bit worse for wear. But what we'll do is we'll uh, head up to the buzzing lounge. And I'll just show you uh, some of the things that I want to do and some of the changes that I want to make because I want to basically expand the uh, lounge a bit more so that it's, it's bigger and uh, more seating available and just really make it a, a bit more of a more enjoyable experience. That's, uh, that's my logic.
all right so we are back Arnul we are down here uh, Stephen's busy working with Maggie Mays at the moment doing a great job in there uh, that's planned to be open relatively soon so uh, he's turned it from a single unit into a double unit and upstairs in true Stephen style in upstairs he's uh, got a round pool table I don't personally like the round pool tables but that's neither here nor there you know something different and uh oh, talk of the devil there he is right one second let me just move the camera away Steve Steve can I pop in yeah so uh, let's go and have a look at what's going on like I said they've had a useful look at it is it oh, okay brilliant there you go look what's with the rope what's with the rope oh right yeah there you go so there's a seating there's a seating arrangement Okay, so you're going to have some U-shapes over there with the tables. And uh, this, this leads into the existing Maggie Maid Park, so that's what's going to come down to make it a bigger unit. And upstairs, oh, this is the spot of luck, isn't it? Let's go up here. Oop. So up here is the round pool table. All right, there you are. Look at that. How cool is that? And... Uh, it's gonna be big, it's gonna be big. And once he's, once he's knocked the wall down, uh, you know, it'll be really nice. And, uh, oh look, in true Steven style, there you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, seven humongous TVs. Seven, seven big TVs. So, uh, all right, so let's go across the road. There you go, I've got a preview of what's going on inside. And, uh, That'll be open, I think we're opening the first week, I think it's the first week of next month. I'll just check, hang on. When's the planned opening, Steve? Uh, first week of December. Yeah, first, so it was the first week of December, that's when he's planned the opening. And uh, over here, not sure we'll be able to see much actually, I think all the lights are off. Well, let's go and have a look anyway. We're going to do some changes in here as well. So uh, what I'm going to do is, you see the wall in the mirror there, uh, that's going to be coming down. We're going to turn the pool table the other way around, so it's going to be that way around. Uh, then we're going to put the sofas here, around this side. We're going to get a table like this, and we're going to put it right the way along here. 12-seater table. And uh, you probably can't see much here. Uh, but like these, these uh, the comfy seat in here, that's going to be staying. And the comfy seat that we've got here, we're going to move over to the other side. That's what we're going to do there. So... Uh, but I don't know when we're going to do it. We're, we're running short on time at the moment because the builders are very, very busy. There's the lovely Fon. Good morning. She takes care of everything here for us. Brilliant. Right. Let me uh, spin the camera around and uh, let's finish off. Okay, so there we are. We've had a chance to have a look inside the new Maggie Mays. And uh, it's looking good, looking really good. I can't wait for that to open. That'd be fantastic. And uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, before the end of this year, we'll get the uh, get the back there sorted out. Okay, that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, as always, please remember to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video. Have a look on Discord. Uh, there's over 16 and a half thousand members in there now. Uh, it's a wealth of information. It's totally free of charge. It's a great little set setup. We're doing more changes to Discord as well, streamlining it, making it more user friendly. So have a look on there, guys. Please check out our Instagram and our TikTok accounts. Uh, they're going to strength to strength short 30 second snippets of what's going on here in the city uh, hotels restaurants you name it is coming onto the channel so please have a look at that guys and if you'd like to support the channel uh, there's a link to our members area on buzzingpotato.com we are revamping the uh, new website it's going to be out soon probably about another four or five weeks to finish it all off but it's going to be great I'm really looking forward to that uh, so uh, have a look on there guys and if you'd like to support the channel your support is much appreciated it allows me to do a lot more and help bring better stuff to the uh, channel Okay, that's it for me. Thank you very much indeed for watching. And please, as always, wherever you are in the world, stay safe.